Hello again, everybody. This is John and Glenn with BestPriceNutrition.com. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Genomics Protocol, um, Advanced Recovery, and we're going to run through the ingredients. Um, nice thing about it, there's only a few ingredients, and they tell you how much is in there, so there's no proprietary blends to try and weed through, which is nice. Um, the container size is uh, 495 grams, so it's a little more than a pound. Um, there's 60 servings per container. Each serving size is 8.25 grams, and Basically, the way they want you to use it is first thing in the morning um, or you know, pre-workout is another time you can use it. Um, also, post-workout is something that's suggested. Mm -hmm. We'll go through you know, the whens and whys you know, based on what we think based on the ingredients. Uh, so let's run through the ingredients real quick, Len, and we'll, we'll go through each one as, and explain them as we go. Okay. Uh, first ingredient is L-leucine. Uh, there's 3.25 grams inside there. Uh, leucine is one of the branched chain amino acids, uh, very prevalent in um, whey protein. Um, the Studies on leucine are showing that it, it can help activate the mTOR pathway, uh, which can help increase mu muscle synthesis or, or decrease the breakdown of muscle while you're working out. Um, it's not something that you, you can take and you're going to build all kinds of muscle because it's just one amino acid. You know, sure. In order to build muscle, you need uh, a chain of amino acids bonded together. It seems to be the amino acid that's responsible for the trigger, the chemical mm -hmm. signal for protein synthesis. Similar to what carbohydrates can do with you know increasing insulin, and that that's kind of the same mechanism with leucine would be yes. a little spike in insulin. I think mm -hmm. is what they say. And as you said, it's not that you can just take leucine and expect to build muscle. It's only one amino acid. Mm -hmm. You need you know the other essential amino acids at the very least. Ideally, you get all of them, so you don't have to put the stress in your body to make the others. Um, but what it can be beneficial for, as we've talked about in some of the BCAA videos, if somebody who's on a hypocaloric diet and they want to take something before they work out maybe so that they don't break down muscle but they don't want to take in calories because they don't want to mm -hmm. impact you know, any fat burning, that's somewhere where it can help you know, yeah. prevent your body from If you're going to go long muscle. stretches without a meal, um, it may be beneficial because of it staving mm -hmm. off your body using muscle mass as an energy source. Well, it, in the presence of low calories. Yes, in the presence overall. of low calories, I should yeah, say. Yeah. If, you're if you're eating a lot of calories, then it's not going to have much of a benefit because you're getting in plenty of protein and, and carbohydrates. Yeah, there's, it, then it's not going to be as necessary. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's something to consider. Uh, next ingredient is beta alanine. Um, we talk of beta alanine a mm -hmm. lot um, in other videos. We like it. There's a lot of research on it. it basically what it is is it <clears throat> it's there to maintain intracellular pH. Um, and specifically for athletes, the acid that uh, dissociates from lactic acid can you know, make you more feel the burn. Mm -hmm. So you know, more beta alanine is only going to help maintain that pH, which is ideal for, you know, continuing to yeah. keep your workouts going longer because the accumulation of acid and also increasing, you know, within a set too, so. Yeah, there is one and a half grams inside here, so it, it is an efficacious dose, it's a good dose of it. Um, you, you probably f or may feel a tingling in the face, which is uh, a common uh, effect of beta alanine, mm -hmm. you feel. It tends to subside, but mm -hmm. for some people it t seems to last a little longer, and some people don't ever feel the tingling. It's kind of mm -hmm. one of those things that it kind of depends on the individual. Uh, next ingredient, L-carnitine L-tartrate, uh, which is one gram uh, is a serving size. Um, l -carnitine, it's a salt of L-carnitine. Um, the the in things that I found on it is that it can help reduce muscle, or what has been said about it, it reduces muscle tissue damage, or it can allow after a workout or after putting stress on the muscle, uh, it leaves more intact hormonal receptors, meaning uh, receptors that are on the cell um, that would be there for recepting of other hormones, like testosterone, cortisol, uh, things like that. Um, it Specifically, it's supposed to protect the cell. From, from when they look at the markers that they measure from exercise stress, I mm -hmm. think that's where they've seen most of the benefits. Now, one thing to consider is a lot of the research was funded by what the, the company Yeah, that, a company called Lanza. So, uh, so it, they're a company that makes L-carnitine, L-tartrate. Yeah, they so may hold that. If, if they're the ones funding all the studies and conducting all the studies on it, so it's... It, Just it, note that as a competing interest. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not to say that it's not true, because mm -hmm. uh, that, that seems to be... Uh, you know, pretty consistent. You know, there was nothing wrong with the design of the study, that at least I saw. Yeah, you know, no, I didn't see anything wrong with the design. It was just, it. it's just that's just there's a competing interest there, so there's something, to, something to consider. So that would be the benefit of the carnitine. It would help, you know, with recovery mainly. Mm -hmm. And then another ingredient we're seeing more and more of um, the agmatine sulfate. There's 250 milligrams of it. It's it, this, you know, it's a it's a metabolite of arginine. Um, 
Do you want to run through a little bit of it? Yeah, it's normally released in response to stress. It is something natural that's in the body um, and inflammation. Uh, so your body would release this uh, in response to you know stress to the body or if you had some inflammation. What's the theory um, behind adding it? The theory behind it is that it can decrease the breakdown of nitric oxide, or what they call inhibits an, an, an enzyme called endosynthesate. Synthesis? Synthase. Synthase, yes, yes. An enzyme that will break down nitric oxide. Um, so by inhibiting that enzyme, it allows the nitric oxide effect to happen longer in the body. Um, and that's the theory on it. I, I have seen you know, one study to show that it does actually do that, Sure. And then there's also studies that show that it can increase the breakdown in some cases. Yeah, it stimulates some forms uh, mm -hmm. of the endosynthase and, and, and decreases others or inhibits others. Um, you know, there's some neural protection that mm -hmm. th it's, you know, been researched and it seems to have some neural protection, some uh, help with pain relief. So Yeah, most studies that you'll see are, are showing that, more of a neural protective. That, yeah, most of the companies that have looked at it or, or the purpose of the studies that were looking toward that. Anti-anxiety was another effect that they seemed to find. And also, it says with help with glucose metabolism. I think what they're going for here is within that, you know, nitric oxide loop to mm -hmm. increase the benefits or the, the half-life of nitric oxide, I think would be the idea. Um, <clears throat> as we've said in a lot of the videos and that we've seen, it, 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 companies keep trying to come out with ingredients to help with nitric oxide mm -hmm. production because it makes sense in theory that if you increase it, you can, you know, blood flow, you can really help grow more, you can help yeah. muscle growth, so, and also that, that pumped feeling, if you will. The problem is, is it's not been proven in practice with any of the ingredients. It's all mm -hmm. theoretical. You know, you look in a book and say, oh, wow, that, that should work, but the reality is, is we haven't seen it. That's not to say that it'll never happen. It's just, as of right now, we just haven't seen that effect demonstrated with any of these supplements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until there's more human studies done on it, the, the jury's still out on it. Um, yeah. It is a popular ingredient. Well, human studies proving, proving that. Yeah. Yes, I should say proving that. Because there are a lot of human yeah. studies. It's just there's not much to that. Pro yeah, 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 proving that. So overall, though, the I mean, it's a nice. It's got a pretty good ingredients profile in terms of you know what they're going for. Um, as we said, the people that are probably going to benefit the most. Well, anyone can benefit from beta alanine, mm -hmm. um, and. The leucine, you know, we talk about is people are going to benefit most are people on hypochloric diets. So assuming you're dieting, you know, it could be a nice ingredient, you know, a nice little product for you to take. Yeah, you know. as far as when to take it, um, I myself would say possibly pre-workout and post-workout. Uh, if, you, if you really want to get a, a full benefit of it because of the, you know, one and a half grams of beta alanine, help out with the... Uh, uh, the endurance and recovery aspect of it, um, and also being that it has the, the carnitine, the, the carnitine the also stress. for the, the stress and recovery after workout. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, overall, hopefully I answered all your questions on that. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section of the video or the blog. Uh, we will answer them for you. Also, you can find us at facebook.com slash Thank you. Thank you.